Team Fight Tactics has become the new talk of the town for League of Legends players. It is a game where you get to play God and create the ultimate team of champions from the League of Legends universe. You can think of it like a game of chess, inspired by Dota Auto Chess, but instead of pawns and rooks, you've got champions like Ash and Garen duking it out on the battlefield. It might appear simple at first glance, but it takes quite a lot of strategic planning to place your champions on the giant game board and outsmart your opponents. But worry not, as this guide is all about teaching you the very basics of the game to get started. How the game works In TFT, you'll assemble a team of champions from the League of Legends universe and strategically place them on the game board to take on other players. Each champion has their own unique abilities and stats, and you'll need to think carefully about how to use them to your advantage. As you play, you'll earn in-game currency that you can use to upgrade your champions and make your team even stronger. You'll also need to pay attention to the game board and take advantage of any bonuses or buffs that might be available. The goal is to outsmart your opponents and be the last one standing in an 8-player free-for-all match. Learn about compositions and how they work. Composition simply means a specific group of champions that work well together and have strong synergy. Different compositions are built around certain themes or strategies and can be very powerful if executed correctly. For example, a composition might focus on supporting champions that can buff or heal their allies, allowing the team to stay in fights longer, as opposed to a composition that focuses on a single trait, say, Assassin to create a team of champions that all have the assassin trait and can take down enemies quickly. It's generally a good idea to have a couple of different team compositions that you're comfortable with, rather than just focusing on one. This will give you more flexibility in dealing with different situations and opponents, and help you adapt to the changing landscape of the game. Some players prefer to focus on a single, strong composition and try to execute it perfectly, while others prefer a more diverse approach with a mix of different compositions. As a beginner, it's okay to focus on just one or two that complement your playstyle, instead of overwhelming yourself with many of them at once. What is Carousel? I'm sure many of you have heard about the infamous carousel round in TFT, but you're still not sure how it works. Well, the carousel is a special round for champions that players can choose from at the beginning of each match, or after six continuous rounds. It's a key part of the game as it allows players to build their team and set their strategy for the match. The carousel consists of a rotating selection of champions that are randomly chosen from the pool of available champions. Players take turns choosing a champion from the carousel, and once all the champions have been chosen, the carousel disappears and the match begins. It's important to pay attention to the champions that are available on the carousel and consider which ones would fit well into your team composition and strategy. If a champion that's essential to your strategy is available on the carousel, consider grabbing them early to ensure that you have the necessary pieces for your team. But keep in mind that it's not always simple as many players would have eyes on the same champions that you want. So don't be afraid to take a chance on a champion that you're not familiar with if you think they might fit into your team well. Gold and how to use it. Lastly, it's very important to talk about the currency in teamfight tactics, as it can decide the outcome of any game. Players earn gold as the in-game currency in TFT that they can use to purchase new champions or upgrade existing ones in this game. You learn gold by defeating opponents, completing objectives, and surviving until later rounds in the game. Now, it's super important to learn how to use gold in this game efficiently to progress faster. Here are a few things that you need to be focusing on. Prioritize upgrading your champions. 
Upgrading your champions is generally a good use of gold, as it will make them stronger and more effective in fights. Consider upgrading your key champions first, as they will likely have a bigger impact on your team. Save gold for later. If you don't need to upgrade any of your champions, or you're not sure which champion to buy, consider saving your gold for later. This will give you more options and flexibility later in the game when you might need to make quick purchases or upgrades to stay competitive. Earn Extra Gold It's possible to earn extra gold by simply saving your gold coins. For every 10 gold coins that you save, you will earn an extra gold coin at the start of the next round. You can earn up to 5 gold coins upon saving 50 gold, which is not easy of course, but still doable. The deeper you dive into this game, the more complex yet fascinating everything would become. From units, to formations, to levels, there's so much to learn in order to stay ahead of the competition. But this guide should help you get the basics right, at least. With that, we have reached the end of our guide. I hope you learned something new today, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop it down in the comments. That's all for today, see you next time. Check out this video, it's specially selected for you. You'll like it.